Welcome back to Intersection Conversations, where we dive deep into how our lives and experiences intersect, shaping the world around us. I'm your host, Jason, and today in episode five, we're unraveling a complex topic, primacy. When driven by primacy, sharing resources and opportunities can sometimes feel like oppression or discrimination. So how do we overcome these negative feelings, especially in the workplace? primacy, the idea of being first or giving precedence to early information or experiences can deeply influence our perceptions and action. In a society where resources and opportunities have historically been unevenly distributed, efforts to level the playing field can be perceived as threatening by those who are accustomed to certain privileges. It's like this, uh, imagine you've always been the only person in a room and had two slices of a pie. Suddenly there are more people added to the room you think you're gonna be asked to share one of those slices with someone else because there are more people in the room. Even though it might seem fair, it might also feel like a loss because you're used to having more. L- little did you know the new, new folks in the room don't even like pie and they brought their own food. This feeling is not just about the pie or resources, but about adjusting to a new norm where equality and access is the goal. Let's consider a workplace scenario that illustrates the concept of primacy and how the expansion of opportunities can initially feel like oppression or discrimination to some, along with strategies to address these feelings. Introduction of a new diversity hiring initiative. Yeah. A tech company, Tech Forward, has historically had a predominantly white male workforce. In an effort to address this imbalance with its emerging markets and promote diversity, the company introduces a new hiring initiative aimed at increasing the representation of women and underrepresented minorities in its workforce. Edgy situation. John, a longtime employee at TechFord, has seen the company grow and evolve. He's used to the company's traditional hiring practices and feels proud of the merit based system that he believes the company has always upheld. When the new diversity initiative is announced, John feels uneasy. He perceives it as a threat to his and his colleagues' chances of promotion and growth within the company. He expresses his concern, stating, It feels like we're now being overlooked despite our years of hard work and dedication. The company's response one, Education and awareness session. Mmm. Tech Forward organizes workshops that explain the importance of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. These sessions cover topics like unconscious bias, the benefits of a diverse workforce, and the historical context of inequality in the tech industry. Transparent communication. Mm. The company holds a town hall meeting where the leadership explains the rationale behind the diversity hiring initiative. They emphasize that the initiative is about creating equal opportunities and not about taking away opportunities from current employees. Empathy and perspective take. Hmm. Tech Forward encourages open discussions where employees can voice their concerns and fears. They facilitate empathy building activities where employees, including John, hear stories from their colleagues who have faced barriers in their careers due to their gender or racial background, uh, recognizing and celebrating contribution. The company makes a concerted effort to recognize and celebrate the achievements of all employees, ensuring that everyone feels valued and appreciated. They implement a peer recognition program where employees can acknowledge their colleagues' contributions. A support system. Tech Forward sets up mentoring and support groups where employees can discuss their concerns and learn from each other. John joins one of these groups and starts understanding different perspectives. He realizes that the initiative is not about giving undue advantage to others, but about ensuring that everyone has a fair chance. Okay, over time, John begins to see the positive impact of the diversity initiative. He notices new ideas and perspectives in team meetings and realizes that the diverse workforce is driving innovation and creativity. While his initial reaction was driven by a sense of losing primacy, the company's proactive approach helps him understand the value of diversity and inclusion. Through education, transparent communication, empathy, recognition, and support, Tech Forward successfully navigates the challenges posed by the introduction of the diversity hiring initiative, turning initial skepticism into acceptance and support for the program. Yeah, so how do we navigate these feelings in the workplace? where diversity, equity, and inclusion are not just buzzwords, but essential for a thriving, innovative environment. Here's some methods. First, education and awareness. It's crucial to understand the historical context and the current realities of inequality. Workshops, seminars, and open discussions can shed light on these issues, helping everyone understand that equitable distribution of opportunities actually benefits the entire organization. 
Uh, second, empathy and perspective taken, team. I encourage employees to step into you, each other's shoes. This can be facilitated through team building activities or storytelling sessions where employees share their experiences. Understanding diverse perspectives can foster a more inclusive and supportive workplace culture. Third, transparent communication. When changes are made to policies or resources are redistributed, clear communication about that why behind these decisions is vital. Transparency helps in mitigating feelings of loss or unfairness. Fourth, recognizing and celebrating contributions. Ensure that everyone's contributions are acknowledged. This helps in shifting the focus from what one feels they are losing to a more positive outlook on what everyone gains through diverse thoughts and ideas. And lastly, uh, support system, provide support for those who feel challenged by these changes. This could be through mentorship programs, counseling, or peer support groups. It's important to create a safe space where feelings can be expressed and addressed constructively. Jason, in conclusion, while the feelings of loss or threat when sharing resources and opportunities are real and valid, it's crucial to understand the bigger picture. The pie is not getting smaller. We're just learning to share it better, ensuring everyone gets a slice. And remember, a diverse, equitable, and inclusive workplace isn't just morally right. It's also a bedrock for creativity, innovation, and success. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Intersection Conversations. If you appreciate our approach diving into the roots of personal bias and other social reform topics with intellectual rigor and empathy, make sure to subscribe for future series released every month. And please like subscribe and share so we can continue to empower you to use as your voice. See you in our next series as we continue conversations equipping you with tools to challenge patterns that are enabling oppression through unconscious bias and prejudice. I'm Jason, and I hope today's discussion sparks further conversation and action in your own workplaces and communities. Until next time, let's keep learning, sharing, and growing together. 